Hello everybody and welcome to the free Forex training videos. Um, to kick things off, I want to let you know that if you go to 4sqa.com slash training, there are a bunch uh, more videos that you can get there um, also for free. Uh, the reason for sending you off to the other site instead of keeping you here on YouTube is so that makes it a little bit easier for me to deliver things to you in a watch this video now this one now this one kind of format that makes it a whole lot easier for me to teach you something and then build on it so with that out of the way um, let's talk about this first system uh, it's really very very simple it's based off of the Ichimoku indicator um, to add it in fact here let me show you how you get to that piece of the puzzle first in fact we'll bring up a whole new chart and start brand new let's just bring up USD JPY okay so you can see that you can click here on this button and bring open all kinds of new pairs and all that kind of good stuff so that gives us our chart what I'm going to do now is change it so that way we're looking at candlesticks but you can see that right now we're still zoomed so far out that we're not getting to see much so there we go that gives us our candlesticks and this system actually works a lot better on the one day time frame for the moment we'll keep it on the one hour now what we need is the Ichimoku so we come here to this button and we are going to go to custom and then Ichimoku now for me I've already because I've used this indicator before I've already got it all set up tanking at nine Kijun at 26 and Senku at 52 those are the values that you want to make sure that you have by clicking on this inputs tab it's probably going to come up by defaulting to common on you just click inputs and make sure those are the values that you have and click OK and that will give you the um, that will give you the cloud now how this puppy works is quite simple what you want is opens on the other side of the cloud unless they exit a cloud sideways but let me give you a good example we can see here that we have this cloud going it got very very thin we came through the cloud <clears throat> and there was the open typically when trading this system if i'm going to trade on the one hour time frame um, i am looking for probably 200 pips of profit now in this case you can see that that 200 pips in profit came really fast it only took a few hours to get there so there we go a uh, little less than a day and there was the 200 pips most of the time it's going to take quite a bit longer than that now if you are trading on short time frames let's say like on the one hour maybe you want to shorten that down to 100 pips just to give yourself more movement or I'm sorry more chance to get out profitably without having things turn around and move the other way on you um, but for dollar yen that's usually relatively safe because it, it has a habit of moving sideways for long periods of time and then making big gigantic moves so when one of the ways that you can look for an exit is after you get your profit point is to reset your uh your stop loss so let me give you a good example what we would do is we would set let's say a 100 pip right there so what we would do is we'd set a 100 pip original profit target once that profit target was hit we would reset our stop loss to let's say 50 pips so that way we're locking in 50 pips of profit and we just let it run and we you wait until you get an open on the other side of the blue line okay <clears throat> this the blue line the key gen is a much slower moving line so you wait until you get an open on the other side of that and then you exit out of your position now if you do it that way what that does is it allows you to like i said lock in that 50 pips of profit but still let the winner ride and if you do if you would have done that on this trade we would have gotten 218 pips in total profit 
that is really how this system is supposed to work. Now, where do you set your initial stop loss when you open an order? What you do is you look for a recent valley, which would be on this candle right here, and you set it, usually I go anywhere between 30 and 50 pips below where the valley is. So, in this case, I would probably set it somewhere in that neck of the woods. Now, I know that that looked kind of random, and in a lot of ways it was, but um, let's have a look here. Our open on this would be this spot here. 50, yeah, in this case, because we're only looking at a 50 pip difference, I would probably go a full 50 pips uh, the other way, but that's one of those things that's kind of up to you. Um, if we set it 30, then that's pretty close to where the line, there we go. Um, so that gives us an 80 pip stop loss to kind of give the trade room to breathe. Now you can see in this case that it didn't really need very much in the way of breathing room to go. Um, but this particular system is very, very profitable. Again, I can provide you other tips, techniques, tools, and all of that kind of good stuff by going to 4sqa.com slash training. When you go there, you'll get some of the initial videos to begin with. To get the rest of the stuff, just sign up, and I'll start sending you um, additional training videos and all that kind of good stuff uh, really every day.